Hello, hello everyone. Today I've got a new quick and simple invention for you guys. It's actually not entirely my own invention. Um, I basically improved on something that Ito's lab, so Ito released earlier, and he basically made what is a hopper timer. So what it actually is, is we have two hoppers facing each other with some items in and <clears throat> this uh, block of redstone is basically going to block one of the two hoppers from transferring items so what's going to happen is all the items are going to move into this hopper right now because this hopper is not able to move them back to this one so once this hopper is empty and all the items are in this hopper um, the comparators are going to output a redstone signal so that this block of redstone is moved to the other side which will basically uh, revert the process so all the items from this hopper will move back into this one and um, the time it takes to do these cycles is basically um, depending on how many items you put in so these are highly adjustable and just one unit of this can get a delay of up to 4.27 minutes so that's already a pretty long time, but what if I told you that we can link up these and we can get a delay of up to 22.76 hours? That is pretty amazing in my opinion. And this is basically what I kind of like invented, I'd say, I don't know. Um, what I basically did is every time this thing cycles, it's going to send a redstone pulse of 4 ticks. That's going to feed in this uh, redstone line, which is shortly going to turn off those torches you can see underneath. And these torches at the moment um, keep the two hoppers powered all the time. So nothing is able to move at the moment. So 9 stone in this one and 21 stone in this hopper. And when this thing basically turns on, there is going to be uh, one item from this hopper moving to this hopper. So this one is going to get 22 stone and this one is going to lower down to 8 stone. And um, as you can probably imagine, um, by setting this thing to a variable time and this thing to a variable amount of items, you can basically get anywhere in between um, one seconds to 22.76 hours using just these two simple clocks so that is pretty amazing in my opinion before it wasn't possible to do this in uh, this compact space it was just impossible to even think about having a timer of 22 hours in um, this compact space but then um, to completely blow your mind, we can link up as many of these um, together, uh, which is obviously, I guess, but um, when we just link three of those, so this thing is exactly the same as this thing, so every time uh, this hopper timer cycles once, it's going to send a pulse to um, these two hoppers, and they are also just going to transfer one item at a time. So, when we link up these three hoppers, we get 303 days of a maximum delay so that's almost a year of uh, delay in just these three timers and then uh, to completely blow your mind four timers equals 265 years so um, with just four of these timers they will only pulse once in a longer time than you probably live so yeah pretty crazy uh, so this is all modular like I said before and the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that it actually takes some math to calculate how many items you need in each hopper timer so um, that's uh, what the main part of this tutorial is going to be about because uh, the building itself is really easy so let's go ahead and do that okay so the first thing we're going to do when we build one of those timers is calculate some stuff to do that, we're going to use a divisors calculator that is available on a web page online. So no need to download anything, just visit the link in the description and you will be redirected to this page. Uh, what this calculator actually does, I'm not going to explain because that doesn't really matter. 
you're just going to calculate how many seconds you need so if you wanted a 16 minute timer for instance you're going to um, multiply that by 60 to get the seconds and once you've got um, the amount of seconds um, yeah you're just going to follow along so I'm going to build a four day timer so that will require at least three hopper timers and to calculate the seconds I'm just going to multiply 4 by 24 to get the hours times 60 to get the minutes times 60 again to get the seconds so there we go I've got my seconds so that's a lot of seconds 345,600 seconds and once you've got your seconds calculated you're going to divide that number by 0 0.8 so this is basically a delay for um, how long it takes for one item to transfer through hops. So divide by 0 0.8 and you will get a new number. If this number has some decimals, just round it down. So um, you get a natural number and uh, this will only like adjust your delay by half a second or something by doing this. So not a big deal. You can always compensate that using repeaters and then uh, once you've got that number you're going to copy that and paste it on this um, web page of the divisors calculator put it in the box and hit calculate now depending on how beautiful your number is you're going to get either a lot of divisors a good amount of divisors or almost no divisors so if you've only got um, six or less divisors um, you're going to want to adjust your number so to adjust it the best thing you can do is just add one to your number and calculate again and see if you get more results for me it's less so it's not interesting and um, yeah when adding more doesn't um, in doesn't make it any better then just remove one and calculate and check if you get more numbers and for me, it seems like my starting number is actually the best. So I'm going to use that. Um, and by adding or removing one, you're basically um, adding a second or removing a second. So also very easy to compensate using repeaters. So um, now you've got a list of numbers and you're basically going to start with the lowest number and you're going to scan through the list until you reach um, a number that is higher than 320 so for me that would be 360 and then you're going to take the previous one so one that should be equal or lower than 320 so for me it happens that um, it happens to be that 320 is actually in my list so I'm going to use 320 Write down your number you just found in a spreadsheet or on a piece of paper or something or a notepad. Uh, just make sure you've got it written down somewhere and you're going to use that number and um, divide your uh, number you've put in uh, the box up top by the number you just found. So the number that is equal or lower than 320. So for me that would be 432,000 divided by... 320 and now you should get a new number so um, you're also going to copy that number but um, you're not going to write it down anywhere you're just going to copy and paste it in the divisors calculator so you're basically um, going to repeat the previous process so paste your number hit calculate and this time when you've got um, like not a lot of divisors uh, don't panic don't adjust anything don't add a number or remove a number you can only do that in the beginning so if you're stuck at any point you basically need to start over um, again because you can't really adjust it on the way so you're basically going to repeat what we did before so scan through the list until you find a number that is higher than 320 so for me 450 get the previous number in the list so 270 for me and write it down and then repeat what we did before but now with um, the, the number that is currently being calculated by the divisors calculator so 1350 for me and divide that by the number you've just written down 
so 270 for me and now you should again get a new number and now depending on uh, if this number is uh, bigger than 320 or not you have to repeat the process and if it's actually smaller or equal to 320 you're done so you basically keep repeating um, the same steps over and over and over until you've got um, an array of numbers that are all lower than or equal to 320. So for me, um, the number I've got by dividing it was 5. So that's lower or equal to uh, 320. So I'm done. I've got three numbers, which means I need to use three hopper timers. If you've got four numbers, you need to use four hopper timers. If you've got two numbers, you only use two hopper timers, etc. So, um, make sure you've got these numbers written down somewhere and get back into your... Okay, so now we've got our numbers, we can start building the hopper timers. So, these are pretty much the same every single time. Only the first one is different from the other ones. So the first one is slightly different to build and then the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. are all the same. So to build the first one, you're going to need um, two sticky pistons, a block of redstone, um, three pieces of redstone dust, um, two comparators, two building blocks and two hoppers. Um, you also need um, an extra sticky piston or normal piston and a repeater if you want to hook it up to the second hopper timer if you need it. So uh, let's go on and build it. So just place your two hoppers and to let them face to each other you're going to crouch and right click another hopper and then it will basically link up together. So then remove the first one and place it like this. So now they are facing each other. Place two comparators facing away. They will lead into our building block. Um, then two redstone dust like that. Sticky pistons. And these uh, have to be sticky. Then your block of redstone. Remove this block, put a piece of redstone dust. And then put in your sticky piston or normal piston. If you're using a normal piston, um, the block you put on top should be gravel or sand. Then remove uh, this block and place a repeater on 4 ticks delay. So um, that repeater is going to be your output. So whenever uh, this timer is done, it's going to give a pulse. And if you need uh, two timers, you're going to place two redstone dust like this. Then remove these two blocks. Place two torches on the side of those blocks. Place your hoppers the same way we did before, so they should be facing each other. And right above the torches. Then um, place your comparators again. Oh, two building blocks. Redstone dust. Pistons. Sticky again, of course. Redstone ore block, or just redstone block. <laughs> And then um, this is where it gets a little bit different. So you're going to place two redstone dust like this. A comparator here that you put on subtraction. So you right click it once. So the like the light in the beginning is going to light up. Then you um, put it into a building block. So it's facing in this building block. You're going to place a repeater facing away from the block on four ticks delay again. Place two redstone dust there, remove this block and place a um, lever on the side of the block where the redstone is on. So that should be turned on and uh, now whenever we um, change sides of these pistons, a pulse should be um, yeah, going through the repeater as you can see. So every time the piston moves it's going to give a redstone pulse. So that is our output of our second hopper timer. If you need more hopper timers, you're basically going to repeat this process. So because I need three hopper timers, I'm going to build one more. So these two pieces of redstone dust are those two pieces of redstone dust. So that's where we start again. Two torches, hoppers facing each other, comparators, 
pointing away, building blocks, redstone dust, sticky pistons, redstone block, and then two redstone dust, comparator right click it once, a block there, a repeater on 4 ticks delay again, two redstone dust like that, and then a lever that is turned on and turning on this redstone line okay so that is basically our hopper timers done for the four day delay now we need to put in items in the hoppers and this is where you have to look at your numbers you just found so like i said before we're going to um we're going to put the exact amount we just calculated in uh, one of those hoppers so for instance my three numbers are 320, 270 and 5. So it doesn't really matter in which hopper timer you put which number of items. So you can just pick whatever you want. So I'm going to put 320 items in the first hopper timer. So I'm just going to grab some stacks. And 320 is a full hopper. So 5 stacks if you were wondering. So that's it. And then we're going to put... Um, 270 items because that's my next number in the next hopper timer and uh, yeah I'm just going to calculate quickly how many stacks that is okay that is 4 stacks and 14 so something like this put it in the hoppers and then the last one is going to be just 5 items so very easy 1 2 3 4 5 5 items in there and there you go, that is a 4 day timer and you should now have whatever you just calculated. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick and simple invention that is not really that simple I guess. Um, but anyways, I will see you in the next video.